Hello, this is Leslie. I am your real estate matchmaker and I'm here to help you find the town that best suits your needs, wants, wishes, and desires, as well as I can hook you up with a great realtor in that town as well. Today, I am in Gunnison, Colorado. I don't know if you can see the big W behind Western State University. It was a college when I went to town here, but uh, it has upgraded. And we are at 7703 feet above sea level. And back in 1853, John W. Gunnison came through these parts. He was a U.S. Army officer and he was surveying for the Transcontinental Railroad. But he only stayed for three days. Who did stay were the hunters and the fur traders and the cattlemen. Uh, miners as well. Um, when I lived here I learned a lot about block heaters because it can get cold on occasion. It was 40 below for 20 days in a row. I also learned a lot about spelunking which is cave exploration. There's great hiking and camping in these parts. Tamichi Creek trails, Never Sink Trail camping area at the Mesa. Um, you can hike to Lamphere Lake. There's a five-mile out-and-back trail that gains 1,600 feet of elevation. Um, it's appropriate for most visitors, so it can be a little steep at times, but it has great views. Um, Blue Mesa Reservoir is just down the road. I think it's about 13 miles long. It's a little low on water right now. Water skiing, cliff jumping, that was big in college. Uh, sup boards, stand up paddle boards, fishing, um, whatever you want to do. There's a lot of camping as I was saying. There is an observatory in Gunnison. I have no idea about that. I was researching, don't know. Um, but for astronomy lovers, there is a public, there are public viewings, lectures, workshops, and movies under the stars. I need to look into that. And as far as mountain biking goes, there's 750 miles of single track trails surrounding the Western campus. Um, Hartman Rocks as well as Signal Peak, which is a newer trail system than when I was here. There's also the Gunnison Pioneer Museum. You can learn about the early settlers, the Ute tribe and the Gunnison Valley. And for winter recreation, there's cross country skiing. And then right up the road, there's also Crest Butte Mountain Resort. Uh, it's about 30 miles away. And then Monarch is 45 miles away. Um, you have options there. Alpine skiing, ski mountaineering, snowboarding, cross country skiing. There is a river that runs through town that offers a lot of uh, water fun whitewater rafting, kayaking. There's a man-made whitewater park that I have never seen. I've passed by it. I need to stop and check it out. And there are tons of events that happen at the Western campus. Um, there was a band playing somewhere around here I heard earlier. Down the road a little bit further is the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. It's one of the lesser known national parks in Colorado, cut by the Gunnison River. Um, great rock climbing. No, not me. I tried it. That's a little big for me. Um, as you come into Gunnison from the east, there is the Ibar Ranch, which offers a lot of outdoor concerts. Favorite things in this town? I love rock and roll sports. Um, Dave Moe is the owner biking, uh, skiing, whatever you need, he'll sell it to you. Great dude. There is the Firebrand Delicatessen. Might be cash only. I love their sweet potato porridge in the morning. They've got great sandwiches too. And if you want to do something that I did probably too many times, the W Cafe, great greasy breakfast. Um, it's been here, I think, forever. And the old timers still go there. But if you want to learn more or need help finding your place, call me. My number is below and I'd love to talk to you, your friends, your pets, your uncles, your aunts about your real estate needs. Have a great day.